when the dog's been trained the basics. It is trained on specific routes several times and then is given to the owner to keep it. Now the dog has a full working week with hard working conditions in the metropolis. And the most important thing is responsibility for a human life. Work, work, work. Go ahead. Go ahead. Crossing a road can be dangerous, but Michael, thanks to Cassie, easily maneuvers among cars, not even slowing down. The dog will safely lead the owner to the other side, even if the traffic light is not equipped with a special sound signal. How does she do it? Let's go back a little and try to understand what the dog uses as cues when crossing the road. Maybe it's the behavior of people nearby. Yes, this too. But people are not always around. Then perhaps the green traffic light signal. But dogs don't see colors very well. The world, as the dog sees it, is certainly not black and white, but blue and yellow colors prevail there. There are only two types of receptors in the dog's retina, while humans have three. That's why for the dog, it's difficult to navigate by colors. Green and red traffic light signals look about the same to them. The dog is more likely to rely on the location of the signal and on the moving figure appearing on the traffic light lens as a cue. In general, if the object moves, the dog's vision opens up in its full capacity. It can see as well as no humans can, like in a slow motion picture. That's why dogs easily catch objects on the fly and can calculate the speed and trajectory of their moves, even when crossing a busy road. 